Hey guys, it's Paige. I first want to say thank you so, so much for all of your positive feedback and all your amazing comments and I know what you guys like and what you didn't like and what I need to improve on. So thank you so, so much for interacting with me and I'm glad that you liked the first video. I was a little bit nervous, but uh, we did it. <laughs> This time, I think I really want to talk about each individual shot and kind of put you inside my head and how I'm seeing things and I guess how I approach each shot. So um, I'll only do like three holes. So first hole, um, it is a par four, 350 yards. I'm playing the tips out here at Raptor um, at Greyhawk, and so. First thing I do is I'm looking at the entire hole. So I'm looking at the pin and kind of thinking about where I want to place my tee shot for the best um, angle for approach shot. So pins on the left side, even though there's trouble, I want to be approaching from the left side of the spareway because the, there's bunkers on the right side. So if I'm coming over, it's going to be a little weird. So the best angle is from the left side, even though that there is trouble on the left side. Okay. So when I come back here, um, I'm thinking of the shot I want to hit. So that's all I'm visualizing, nothing else. Sometimes I get caught up, and I know a lot of people probably do this, is like, they're like, oh, there's trouble there, there's trouble there, there's trouble there. So when you set up, all you're thinking about is all the trouble instead of the shot you want to hit. So I'm back here. I take a t couple of deep breaths just to kind of calm everything down, kind of forget about everything. And then I just picture the shot that I want to do. I want to hit a little draw here. So in my mind, I'm picturing the draw, I'm feeling the draw, and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to walk into my shot. I'm going to look, I'm picturing the shot that I want to do, and I'm going to set up and I'm going to hit it. So let's, let's do it. I nailed that except for the uh, glasses falling off my hat <laughs> but um, yeah so I did what I wanted um, I was calm and I executed so we'll go to the next shot now I hit the fairway um, now I want you guys to go through a checklist of things that you want to check off when you're thinking about club selection what you should do first is wind so grab some grass throw it up not much wind going on so that won't really come into play too much and you look at the lie. Okay, so it's a little above my feet, as I can see. And then the lie is good, not too much. So it's above my feet, I'm gonna have to choke down a little bit more. And it's gonna move it a little bit to the left. Next, I look at the pin. So I do not wanna be short. Um, I do not wanna be in that bunker, and there's a little bit of a false front, so it'll roll all the way back. Uh, there's a little ridge behind the pin. So I can use that, so if I'm a little bit long, I can spin it backwards. So I've decided on my 52 degree wedge, 73 yards, not too much wind, and then I'm going to have to choke down a little bit uh, for the lie, it's a little bit my feet. So right now I'm just going to feel the shot with my practice swings, perfect. Stand behind it, a couple deep breaths, see the shot and then execute. So I did everything I said. Um, I landed a little bit shorter than I wanted to, but I lucked out and it ended up being, I think it looks like a foot from the pin. <laughs> There's not much to say. I'm just gonna stop that in. Birdie, next hole, par five, let's go. Par five, 502, uh, three each pull par five and two if you set your drive up well. The way this hole works is that it's a wide fairway, but you really have to be careful about where you place it because there are trees on the left side, which they don't really hurt you because they're kind of farther ahead, but you can't like hit a three wood and go for it. 
so you'd have to like lay up for it. So you want to make sure if you want to go for the screen, you're on more of the right side. So I'm picturing the shot I want. Deep breaths. I'm gonna guess. I hit a good drive. The sunglasses are intact still, kind of, sort of. Maybe I'll just take them off. But we're good. We're good to go. So it's uh, pretty to the wind, so I can't actually reach this far five. It's okay. So I'm gonna check the wind. It's definitely into me. <laughs> Bly is a. It is above my feet. Um, I can't get this there. It's 260 to carry the bunker and the pin in the back. Um, so I'm just going to hit three wood still, um, but just position it up on the right side just so I have a nice little, uh, little, little pitch shot, a little bump and run. We'll see what I have to do. Um, but if I hit a wedge, it's okay, but it's just kind of like a blind shot just because there's a massive bunker in front and I think I have a better shot at making birdie if I'm um, down below on the right side. Feel the practice swing. Deep breath, picture the shot. to um, one thing that I don't know if it's gonna help you at all but something that really helped me is that I lack a lot of confidence um, probably because everyone daily tells me that I suck so that might be it <laughs> but um, something I work on is when I walk into the shot I try to walk like I'm gonna pull this shot off like I'm gonna I'm gonna nail it so when I'm back here I walk in like, okay, let's go, let's do this, like, let's hit a good shot, and I try to be positive instead of like, oh, there's OB there, there's something over there, I don't know about this, I don't know if this is the right club, like, once you pick that club, and once you're ready to go, and you're right here, like, you're gonna go, and you're gonna pull it off, so, I always have that mentality, like, this is it, like, this is my time to shine, and, uh, I think it'll work out, I mean, it's helped me a little bit, um, just to be a little more confident, and like, feel like yeah I got this so maybe that will help or not who knows so next shot 68 you know the deal check the wind it's into us it's playing kind of long um it's actually it's playing really long <laughs> I just a driver three way and now I have 68 the pin is all the way back but this is usually one that I always hit into, so you can always tell that the wind. Sometimes if you don't feel it here, look up higher at the trees. Um, we're in the desert, so I guess I'm looking at cacti and they're not really moving, so uh, it's not really helping me right now. Um, but if you're in a place with trees, uh, look at the top of the trees and that's where you can really tell if you can't feel it um, in here. So 68, flies fine, wind's into me, 68. I'm gonna hit you. So I always grab, I like to grab more club and swing easy. That's just like, that's something that I've always really liked to do. I've never been one to like, feel like I like to hit it harder. I just, I don't, I can't control it for me. Okay, relax. One thing about this screen, um, I played here all the time with my home course, so I know this, but it kicks so far. Um, left to right so the miss is left because um, everything feeds down into it um, so I'm gonna play a little bit left of the pin even though it's a wedge and uh, I'm not too much to it wasn't very good. 
Um, I just didn't hit it far enough. So when it, it hit the side of the hill and just like kicked really far. So I just gave you all that great advice and I didn't listen to myself and take it. Um, it happens. It's okay. But I have a putt at it. We're good to go. Always fill your divots. So this is the, the hill I was talking about. So everything feeds down that way. And there's my ball. So I just hit it too far left and not far enough. So I already went through green reading in my last video. Um, if you didn't watch it, go check it out. So I'm just trying to go through my routine. Uh, it's uphill, breaking to the right. Just looking at where I want to hit it, the speed I want to hit it at, where, where the slopes are, um, if there's any kind of like environmental things, I, like factors, environmental factors, <laughs> it's a new thing. So like if there's like a mountain over there or like a river or, or everything where like where everything feeds, um, take that into consideration. So there's kind of a mountain there, but it's going this way. I'm good to go. I feel good. And then right here, I'm working on my practice strokes. So just like kind of feeling it, the speed I want to hit at. My lines are already set, so right now all I'm thinking about is uh, the speed. I thought I was going to make that. And then all of you guys are going to be like, oh, no, she went birdie, birdie. How many takes did that take? But that was like the first, first take. They're all first takes, by the way. I just want to say that um, I want to show you the good, the bad, the ugly, um, how I think on the bad shots, too. So, like you can tell, I almost missed that. And I'm losing sunglasses. I'm just a hot mess right now. But I made my par. <laughs> Made my par, that's all that matters. Let's go to part three. 158, pin is front, in the lens, backstop, I can spin it off. I'm gonna hit eight. No, I'm gonna hit seven. No. So right now, I'm just thinking of kind of everything going through everything in my mind. What do I actually feel like hitting? What I feel comfortable with? I'm on seven. There's a lot of wind in my face right now. I'm gonna knock this down a little bit. Confidently walk in. Let's do this. really bad um, so I'm short and I'm right but now we get a chip I hit the hill and kind of rolled back a little bit more so that was great um, same kind of thing I'm um, looking at the line looking at where I need to hit it I'm gonna do a longer video on short game because it's the most I guess requested video that you guys have uh, you, keep, you guys keep sending me in comments is do a short game video um, so I'm not going to go really into it right now. I'm just going to hit the shot and then I'm going to do another video, probably the next video, and I'll do everything that I know on short game um, and everything that I think that will help you. So, practice swing is to feel it, step up, execute, and we'll go into everything later. Okay. It's breaking. I'm not putting a marker down just because uh, we're playing for fun, for funsies right now. And we 
way in before. Okay, so that was three holes of how I think, what I do, um, and that is it. Thanks again for watching, and again, uh, leave comments of what you like, didn't like, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, next one will definitely be on short game, so leave comments on what shots you want me to talk about and what you want me to do. So that's it. That's all for today. And I'm gonna finish off my round. Um, if you want to kind of follow more of my rounds or see what I shot today, check out 18 Birdies app. Um, it is available for all smartphones. And it's the best way to like watch what I'm actually doing or how I'm playing. And the best thing is that you guys can compete against me. So if you think, I always get these comments like you guys don't think I'm very good. So if you think that, let's go play. Play against me. Let's see how you do. And uh, keep you guys posted for the next video. And uh, happy golfing.